Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Trump's team recently said that China's chip design capabilities are two years behind the United States. Once this was said, even their own people couldn't sit still. Experts interviewed by Bloomberg TV pulled out data. An AI company called DeepQuest just created a model at the beginning of this year, with a training cost of only 5.57 million US dollars, but the effect can compete with GPT-4. If it were three years ago, who would have believed that China could catch up so quickly? There are two Chinas hidden in the chip battlefield. Are all Chinese chips imported? Just look at the mobile phone, and you will know that it is not. Huawei Mate 60 is full of domestic parts when disassembled, and the 7 nanometers chip is hard ground with DUV lithography. When the machines in TSMC's factory roared to 2 nanometers, SMIC's 14 nanometers production line was supplying automotive chips at full capacity. The more the United States bans EUV lithography machines, the more Chinese engineers work hard to find alternatives, chip stacking and heterogeneous computing are all used. When facing reporters asking about the chip gap, Ren Jingfei threw out four words, just do it. This sounds rough, but the back door is not rough. Huawei moved its lab into the university and spent hundreds of millions of yuan to recruit people for the Genius Youth program alone. The computing power of the Ascend 910B chip is far superior to that of NVIDIA's A100, and its power consumption is 30% lower. Even more ruthless is the Hongmeng system. After installing 50 million devices, even German car companies came to discuss cooperation. The U.S. Department of Commerce just blacklisted 30 Chinese AI companies and then found that they were in big trouble. Germany's Bosch secretly purchased Huawei's automotive chips and South Korea's Samsung's mature process orders poured into Chinese foundries. Engineers at Shanghai Microelectronics are debugging a 28 nanometers lithography machine. Although it is two generations away from EUV, it can make 7 nanometers chips with the nano imprint technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Huawei is even more outrageous. It disassembled the EDA software and rewrote it, using the Tiangang architecture to improve the performance of 7 nanometers chips by 40%. American engineers stared at the code and sucked their teeth, how did this thing bypass our patents? TSMC's factory has been mass-producing 5 nanometers chips for two years, while SMIC is still working on 7 nanometers. The localization rate of key materials such as photoresist is less than 10%. The United States has banned the supply of even second-hand equipment, forcing Shanghai Microelectronics to debug old equipment overnight. However, Yangtze memory in Wuhan is not panicking. 3D NAND flash memory directly skips 128 layers and goes to 232 layers. Algorithm breaks out and kills a bloody road. When the United States blocks chip design tools, Chinese engineers start to work hard to achieve miracles. 
Alibaba Cloud uses 200,000 graphics cards to run a model that exceeds H100. An iFlytex speech recognition system reduces the error rate to 1.5%. DeepQuest Company, which only uses public data sets for training data, has relied on algorithm optimization to catch up with OpenAI's latest achievements. University laboratories become secret bases. The Tsinghua Institute of Microelectronics recently broke a bombshell. The chip they designed with a storage and computing integrated architecture has increased energy efficiency by five times. The Peking University team has developed a quantum chip prototype. Although it is still far from commercial use, the American magazine Nature has already set its sights on it. Huawei simply moved the Noah's Ark Laboratory into colleges and universities, and students directly participated in the design of Mate 60 chips. Industrial chips are killing the world. Don't just focus on mobile phone chips. China's industrial chips have already killed the market. The yield rate of servo drive chips installed on Tesla's production line is 8% higher than that of German products. Geiger device nor flash chips have a global market share of 30%, directly snatching meat from Winbond Electronics. American car companies are now queuing up to Chinese companies to order automotive-grade MCUs, just because they are 30% cheaper and durable. The United States uses 3,000 EUV patents to build a wall, and Chinese engineers take a detour. Shanghai Microelectronics Lithography Machine does not use ASML's lenses but has its own reflective exposure system. Huawei's 5G IF chip uses GAN materials to bypass Broadcom's patents. The supply chain is being reorganized. Japan's JSR company secretly exports photoresist to China, and Dutch ASML employees were investigated for smuggling parts. Germany's Zeiss supplied 200 sets of lenses to Shanghai Microelectronics, and South Korea's SK Hynix gave priority to selling HBM3 video memory to Chinese customers. The U.S. Semiconductor Association was so anxious that it sent a warning letter, but the companies didn't listen at all who would be willing to give up orders from the Chinese market.